Lines, and we're seeing some good and bad with Colorado's population boom. One of the negatives, the trashing of the National Forest just west of the Springs. Public shooting is legal, but trashing shooting areas is not. And one of our viewers asked us to look into what's happening on Gold Camp Road. Bill Folsom did some investigating in our top story tonight. He's back with what he found. Bill. Yeah, we've seen other areas like Rampart Range Road and Mount Hermon Road where the target shooting privileges ended because of misuse. On Gold Camp today, I found the problem not just at one or two locations, instead, close to a dozen over just a couple of miles. One shooter's waste is another's reloading project. I'm just up here uh, picking up some brass and enjoying nature today. This is just the start of what will be collected over multiple sites where target shooting is happening. Then there is all the stuff clearly left behind by more than just a few target shooters. It's a shame, you know, it's obviously getting more populated up here, people coming up here all the time. and. You know, some people pick up after themselves and obviously some don't. We recognize we have the, the, the problem. We recognize it's a growing problem. Oscar Martinez is the Pike National Forest District Ranger. He says what used to be a few problem areas has expanded to many and the destruction is happening faster. He believes Colorado's population growth is a factor. What you're seeing now with this increase in volume is, is everything is compounded. Everything is, is much more difficult. By the rules, target shooting is okay. Cutting down trees with bullets, bringing furniture, old tires, or other household items as targets, leaving bullet casings and other trash behind are all unacceptable and a threat to the shooting privilege. There seems to be a general lack of appreciation or a decline, I would say, in the land use ethic. The problem goes beyond Forest Service land and is so pervasive, federal, state, and local land managers are now collaborating to address the issue. It's a group called the Southern Shooting Partnership. They're stepping up on the issue, but they also know public lands are vast. For us to be able to kind of maintain all the access, all the freedoms that we tend to incorporate it and associate with the use of public lands, it's going to depend largely on that user being both responsible and willing to police their own actions. I'm definitely, you know, worried about the opportunity to be able to go out and just shoot and, you know, enjoy nature and stuff like that. And Martinez says all uses on public land are increasing with growth in the state. And projections are millions more coming to Colorado in years ahead, which could compound issues like the trash shooting sites even more. Elizabeth? Bill, thank you. Let's